Now let's take you to Northern Arizona. Hello, Flagstaff. That's a live look at Milton Road over there by NAU. And you can see even though the plows have been through the area, the snow is uh, basically covered back over the roadway. Uh, the I-40 eastbound, according to ADOT, right here at the US-93, it remains closed. They reopened it at Ash Fork, but let me push you in closer here to Flagstaff because look at all the slowing here uh, from Ash Fork over to Flagstaff, the I-17 south here. Uh, they are ADOT reporting uh, snow and ice on the roadways on the 260, the B line up to Blue Ridge as well. And then let's take you to Eastern Arizona. That's a live look at the 260 in Sholo and you can see just how snowy the conditions are there. Uh, the 260 was shut down overnight to the east side here of Payson. It has reopened, but we are still seeing snow and ice on the roadways on the 260 and then throughout the White Mountains. Thank you, Gina. Let's head up to Payson. Oh, yeah, a little bit of snow there. It's uh, tough to see. This is Green Valley Park. It's still oh, dark 30, but here's the dock right here where a lot of folks do some fishing. And if you can see, there's a little bit of white on there. We do have some snow that fell. Flagstaff picked up about six and a half inches. That's at the airport. And we'll get some more of those snow totals as uh, the sun comes up and folks get outside and see what fell in their yard. We still have some snow showers. Most of it is above 5,000 feet, 4,500 feet. Pacing, you can see a little bit more today, but we're going to kind of relax the snow for Wednesday. Lingering snow showers is about it. And we do have some of those falling in Flagstaff and then also some just east of the valley. So it's rain over by Kearney, but as this goes up and over the top of the world around the 60, you might get some snow. So keep that in mind. We do have the winter weather advisory that'll go to 8 a.m. in this area. They've dropped off elsewhere, so you could see some slick driving, some snow falling and maybe even some wind kicking it around if you're heading east on the 60. Now we're waiting on our second storm. It's right here. See this lobe? That's what's heading our way for Thursday, Friday, and that's going to bring renewed snow chances to uh, the mountains and a much better chance for widespread rain in the valley. We didn't see a whole lot of rain. Some places got a half inch up by the foothills northeast of the valley, but in town it was hundreds of an inch. 33 in Prescott, 30 in Sholo right now. Around the valley hanging out in the 40s, so a nice cool start and maybe a couple of areas with some fog. I did see that the uh, dew point was matching the temperature and that is one ingredient we have for fog. So we'll see if any develops. We'll still see some gusty mountain winds for today. It won't be as gusty as yesterday, but that could kick around some of the snow that is on the ground. So for today, some spotty snow up in the mountains, but Thursday, here comes our system dragging in more moisture. Here comes the rain for Thursday and for Friday. Friday afternoon, if you're getting ready for New Year's, it's going to be wet out there for sure. And we'll continue with that snow up in the mountains. I'll throw Futurecast all the way to uh, Saturday evening, and this is when it should all be said and done. Now, this is multiple days of snow, so possibly eight inches, of flag, uh, eight inches up in Flagstaff, maybe six in Heber, higher amounts at the high elevations of the rim and over at um, sunrise. So that'll be good, and then up on the Navajo Nation, Navajo Nation as well. Uh, so keep that in mind, Thursday, Friday, more snow on the way. Prescott, you guys should be dry for today. A mix of rain and snow for Thursday and Friday. Heber, I think you guys are going to be in and out of the snow for the next several days. Same story with Pine Top. Camp Verde just rained for you guys with temperatures in the 40s. Seven day outlook 58 today, 60 tomorrow with rain, 59 on Friday with rain. Could even see rain around midnight and maybe a stray shower lingering into New Year's Day, which is Saturday. But I think by Saturday afternoon, we are dry, really cool out there with temperatures in the 50s and then dry for your Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, stepping into the first week of the new year.